Hey guys, let's take a look at the powers of fractions. First of all, let's go to an oldie here. What do you know about that? It's two to the third power. Basically, if you had to explain this to a little brother, he says, oh, there's a big two and a little three. What does that mean? You go, you know what? I don't care. No, you wouldn't say that. You'd be a good big brother or sister, okay? You'd go, okay, that's just a short way of saying two times two times two, or two times itself three times, which is two times two times two is eight. And there you go. Just saves us a little time and then, you know, a little space in the, in the book, okay? Well, if it works for that, then all you gotta do is do the same exact thing for that as well. It's the same thing. So if you say one half squared, that means literally one half times one half, which is one fourth, right? Half of a half is a fourth, okay? How about that one? Two thirds squared means two thirds times two thirds, and that would be two times two on top, three times three on bottom. Boom, there you go, okay? If you have three fourths squared, well, same thing. It just means three fourths times three fourths. You don't have to write it twice. It just means three times three is nine, four times four is 16. There you go, okay? Now, this right here, that looks like that's a radical, and that little three means that you're looking for some number times times itself gives you the number on three times gives you the number underneath the radical in other words when you see something like this you read this you say what is the cube root of let's do that this way what's the cube root of eight let's put it there you're what you're actually saying is what number times itself three times gives you eight and the answer is two that's what you write as your answer if it's a fraction who cares it's the same thing you just do the same thing to the top and then the same thing to the bottom in other words, this is the cube root, the cube root, I can hardly say that, of 1 over 64. Okay, so you'd go, well, I'll just do the top first. The cube root of 1 is 1. The cube root of 64 is what times itself 3 times gives you 64? Mm, oh, 4. Okay, so in other words, that's the answer. And if you were to say this, what's a fourth cubed? You'd go 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. You'd say that this is the answer to that. There you go. That's all there is to it. Okay. Um, if you had to simplify this one, which is the, of course, if you don't see a number here, what do you assume it is? It's a 2, right? It's a square root. What's the square root of 9 sixteenths? All you need to do is go to the numerator and do it, and then to the dumb, and do the same thing. So what's the square root of 9? 3. What's the square root of 16? 4. That's your answer. 3 fourths times 3 fourths is 9 sixteenths. Okay. How about this? The cube root of 8 over 27. Well, you know, same thing. You just do the numerator, then do the denominator. So the cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of 27 is 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. There you go. That's the answer, 2 thirds. Okay. All right. Short one, huh? All right. Look on page 226. Let's do that together. So pause it and try A. Okay. You should have done this basically, you know, a third to the third power it means one third times one third times one third. So one times one times one is your numerator. 3 times 3 times 3 is your dominator, and there's 27, 127, there you go. All right, pause it and try B. Okay, B is the cube root of 1 eighth. Okay, and again, you're doing the numerator and denominator. What's the cube root of 1? 1. What's the cube root of 8? 2. The answer is 1 half. That's all there is to it. All right, pause it and try C. All right, let's take a look at C, two thirds to the fourth power. This literally means, and if you want to go ahead and do this, you know, you can write out two thirds four times, multiply it. You might not want to do that though. You might just want to go, okay, what's two to the fourth power? That's going to be two times two, four, times two, eight, times two, 16. I got 16, boom, 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 there we go, okay. Then you might want to go, okay, well, three to the fourth power. Okay, that's three times three times three times three. If you, if you kind of visualize it like this, you can go, oh, wait a minute, three times three is nine, three times three is nine, nine times nine is 81, there's my answer, there we go. Okay, pause it and try D. Okay, D, there is nothing written here like a number, but you, again, assume that it's gonna be the square root, okay? Well, the question is, what is the square root of 25? And the answer is five. What's the square root of 64? The answer is eight, there you go. It's all there is to it, all right. Okay, short lesson. Have a great time with your uh, problems today. See you next time.